first found out about everything that was going on with the church, actually in 2014, there was an article in the Dallas Morning News, and they were celebrating their anniversary. Um, and during that time, they mentioned that they considered demolishing the church. At first, I had uh, thoughts about losing our, our old church where we have all worshiped for so many years. Oh, yeah, well, we were sad. I didn't want to see it tore down. A lot of memories and stuff, so we were heartbroken that they were going to have to tear it down. The historical society wanted it, but it was too much of a burden for them to have to move. And then we were told they're going to ready to tear it down, and everybody's just like, don't, you know, please don't. Well, I met my husband, Jeffrey, when I was 14. Our first date was at the church. He, of course, is Wayne's son. We uh, married there 48 years ago. Sorry. <laughs> uh, raised all three of our kids, Melody, Travis, and Ashley. It's been a good blessing for my family. I uh, lost Jeffrey last year. So, um, it's been tough. Well, the church found out that we were willing to save buildings, and they said, would you be willing to save that? And because we already had that big project, we were unable to take that on. And I really was sad, and I, I got on my knees, and I, I prayed, and I said, God, you know, is there anything we can do? Give me, give me a solution. Three weeks go by, and we we're at the Brown Bag Luncheon, and Garvin Tate comes up to me, and he says, Mark, is there any buildings that I could possibly save? And I said, funny you mentioned. I got one on my heart, and I would love for you to look into it and see if you could do something. And he goes, all right, well, what is it? And I said, the Smurl Chair. It's 120 years old. Realize that the time it was built, Grover Cleveland was president. That the Spanish-American War hasn't even happened yet in their building of the church. World War I hasn't happened. So we haven't had any major world wars. We haven't had and this church has survived all major events. So what do you do with a piece of history where our ancestors in Rockwell County, seven generations of families have gone, come and gone? What do you do? Well, Garvin and Evan talked to me. They immediately run out, and three days later, they come back, Mark, we're interested in talking to church, and they talk to us, and we, we really want to save this. Well, two months go by, and they come to an agreement, and now we have an opportunity to save history. And uh, it's just neat to see a place that could just go away and from days of early settlers in, in Heath, and now it's going to be on historic property uh, here at Tate Farms. And, and um, I don't know if it gets any better, is that other generations, future generations, we have to enjoy. Yes, people have been baptized, people have been married, people have had, you know, those changing moments where they met God. Get the good news is, is now those traditions and new generations will continue to get married and continue to have those special moments. So history will live on. So it's a neat opportunity, and I'm glad to see future generations will be able to enjoy the small chapel. Well, the, the main thing to us is we're trying to preserve our way of life here in Rockwall County. Being one of the last family farms in Rockwall, uh, we want to keep our land open. We don't want it to become a subdivision. So hosting events and parties has kind of given us more of an opportunity to do that instead of just being in farming and cattle business. We converted our old hay barn into the uh, Summerfield party barn. After doing that, we went to the Historical Foundation and asked them for uh, guidance on any houses or smaller projects uh, that we could move uh, here to the farm to, to use as part of our party facility. They didn't know of anything available, but they told us about the chapel. And we went and looked at it, and it's a lot bigger project than we had planned on, but I think it's very important. There's not a lot of 120-year-old buildings left in Texas. There's not a lot of 120-year-old buildings left in Rockwell, Texas. And to see another building be demolished um, would be terrible. But we want to take it back to its original look. We want it to look like it looked after they put the first coat of paint on it in 1898. I think, uh, I think this project has 
enough passion to me to share with other folks. And I think we're going to find like-minded people that want to be part of this project.